welcome this week for our little time of intercession. I'm Freedom On, and this is uh, HearingGod.TV Outreach. I invite everyone to come on and join in with prayers and to submit your prayer requests and uh, just a time to fellowship with the Lord. And so um, how good it is for us to be here with the Lord. So we just we just uh, thank you, Jesus, and we just welcome you. We thank you for all you are. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for getting us through each and every day. And we just turn ourselves over to you. We just ask that this time uh, be in your hands and that it be led and guided solely by you. Uh, help us, Lord Jesus, to tune in and to hear your voice and to uh, yield to your most holy spirit we thank you lord jesus come holy spirit come you inhabit the praises of your people we thank you and praise you jesus we thank you lord Lord Jesus, all those burdens, all those things, we just we just lay them at your feet right now. We lay them down <laughs> with fists clenched, we let go, and we just put them before you. And we just um, we want it to all be about you. So, let's get out the list, and if I miss anything, let me know, because I did not check the forum, <laughs> I forgot to, before I got on here. We will start off with some praise, and I can say that um, after we, you remember last Saturday, we did all that praying, the uh, well, it was, it was kind of like a part two, praying for backs to be healed. Well, I had a fam family member stop over, and it was so briefly that they didn't even take off their coat. <laughs> and they mentioned something about back pain. So I'm like, ah, I jumped on them. <laughs> uh, I said, let me pray. And it, he immediately, immediately showed up. I mean, they're not even focusing on prayer. They bent over to pick something up, and I'm praying, and all of a sudden they're like, ooh, it's it's warm. <laughs> so, and the cool thing was is um, when we did our church, um, uh, we had somebody stop by and join us for church. Um, not really familiar with tongues and stuff, and so, um, you know, I, I've, shared with you guys, you know, you know, do, do I just do tongues to everybody or, or what, you know, cause it just, I feel it there and I just want to do it. But, you know, at the same time, it's like Paul says, Hey, be all things to all man, to all men. And so it's funny. It's kind of like, you know, and cause my kids speak in tongues too, but it's like everybody was on the same page. It's like my kids turned it off too. And we just kind of went more in depth and internally. And even when we all pray, we all pray over each other at the, at the end of our little church service. And, um, everybody kept it internal and let the spirit work. Well, when my family member came in, uh, you know, they've heard me speak in tongues, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it was kind of like, you know, I felt like, well, let's just try this, doing it the same way. And I found myself, I just began to, um, you know, speak life and everything, but I just began to say Jesus, just using his name. And that's how it happened so quick. I just was speaking his name. His name is so powerful. And so um, I just want to share that, encourage you guys. Um, you know, don't let anything uncomfortable or whatever, um, if somebody says something, jump, jump on them. 
because uh, you know it's it's very seldom that people um, reject prayer, you know, and in just speaking blessing and life, and the name of Jesus, He shows up. So awesome. So. Um, I just want to share that with you. Um, I also made them stretch and stuff, and boy, they were twisting. And they're like, "Hey, yeah, it's better." <laughs> Love that. Um, okay, um, from the forum, Eric did a kind of a little uh, praise report. Um, he was asking for prayers of obedience. Uh, you know that we just join in and, and intercede for him regarding obedience, and so. Um, obviously that's something he has to do himself, but we can certainly agree, uh, for, for, uh, his best. And so he was kind of given a little testimony. He was like, wow, it's coming. Just keep praying. And he was just loving it. So, um, that's a nice little praise report too. So, um, okay. Now we get into some, some more prayer type time. Um, this is from Bill, and he came across our prayer sessions, and he said, would you pray, um, for, you know, regarding his marriage, he said, would you pray for our relationship, healing and restoration for Bonnie and me, including for God to continue to transform us more into the likeness of Jesus? And for her, um, Bonnie had some issues growing up. Um, he he said that he would get a, that he would get around the distor distortions of youth from her large extended family on both sides, having tormented and abused her a lot from infancy onwards, um, and their adult legacy. By supernatural miracle breakthrough as only he can without conflict thanks for praying for us and all that you do blessings bill I probably should have wrote him you know some some of it I don't write you know understand it all of what he was saying but I looked up um, the distortions of youth um, and that is just you know having a really big family and um, you know neglect can happen and all kinds of horrible things can happen um, and so these things have notably marred Bonnie so um, we want to uh, definitely um, you know that stuff can affect you your whole life and so the pain from that we want to address um, so Bill would like the healing Relationship restoration. Um, they, they want as a couple uh, to transform into the likeness of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for Bill's heart and his deep love for Bonnie. Thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, for an upstanding man <laughs> that knows his place in the house that he is to uh, love his wife and to uh, care for his family. So, Lord Jesus, we thank you for his uh, ask for help. And we do indeed lift Bonnie up. Lord God, we speak to all the trauma, all the, all the hurt, everything that Bonnie had to deal with in growing up. We place the cross of Jesus Christ between it and between Bonnie so that uh, it stops at the foot of the cross. We speak to those deep soul wounds, those deep pains. We ask that you would give Bonnie your revelation of, of what all really happened. Be there. Show her Lord Jesus. And apply your healing balm to her soul. 
We speak your life into Bonnie, into every uh, compartment of her soul, that it be open for love. Thank you, Jesus, that you prepare her for love. Thank you, Jesus, for suturing up every wound, every pain, every hurt with your love. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you would continue to bless Bonnie and Bill, bless their, their marriage, that it may be better than it's ever been. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, that they will mirror everything that you are in conforming to your awesome image. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. I just was feeling some peace there. I know the Lord's cooking something. So I will have to get back with Bill and ask if, you know, what's going on with him and just we'll continue to, you know, go deeper and deeper and deeper. So uh, he's he's doing something. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um Alfred, uh, I had I mentioned somebody from YouTube that's been asking questions and um, uh, getting into some more prayer request type things. Um, he was requesting prayer for the son of his of his cousin. Um, just he's just a little guy uh, that's turning four in February, and he has the lifetime disorder. Of course, we're not going to speak lifetime disorder, right? But it's autism. So, you know, and we'll pray for anybody. If anybody knows someone that has autism or, um, you know, you have a heart for it, let's just join in and we will claim it for whomever. Um, we're just speaking against uh, autism. Thank you for this little one, Lord Jesus. We know, Lord Jesus, that this is this is a sin of the forefather because this is an inherent inherited thing. Um, it's not something that they walked into as a babe, um, but we know that it is a, an inherited uh, curse of sorts. So, Lord Jesus, we just bind this up in the mighty name of Jesus. We, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for those that stand in the gap. We bind this up and we place it at your footstool, Lord Jesus Christ, for judgment. We speak your freedom, Lord Jesus, your freedom. For those that have uh, bloodline authority, we we stand in the gap and we do confess the sins of the forefather. We repent on behalf of their disobedience and, and what what they didn't know and what they did know, Lord Jesus. We repent and we just... Uh, we place those things that so offend you, Lord Jesus, at your footstool. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for everything that Jesus is. We thank you, Lord God, that it is Jesus that breaks the curse because of what he did for us. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for doing that for us. We bind up autism in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we command it to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. We break its hold. We break its assignment on, on these lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak life. We 
speak like Rwanda Congo, you speak normal functioning. Rwanda Kira Bakara Basipe Chukura Koko, you speak normal functioning brains. Rabba Shukine Bakata Kira Kira Sukuna Bakata Kira. Rwanda Rakura Rwanda Kira Bakara. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Nona Shukine Bakata Kira. Thank you for the whole package, Lord Jesus. Whole package throughout that restoration throughout. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even now, you're rewiring your truth. Brother Shukini Brother manifested in this little body, in this little child. That he will not only look normal, but that he will be normal in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As you loose his tongue, to connect with his mind and to speak properly, intelligently, that he can focus properly. And as I always say, uh, if any of you out there get a word of knowledge or um, you feel the Lord saying something, text it in um, because uh, it's not just me here. Um, the corporate body of Christ, we all hear and know the Lord. And so you submit that and it gets recorded on the video and people watch it and then they're encouraged. So if you have something to share, share it. Okay. So there's that. Um, Della, uh, she had a post on the forum, um, which I didn't put. But I, I just put the gist of what I felt um, when I read it. And that is, um, oh, yeah, I gave her an article regarding the helmet of salvation um, and what that entails. Um, because she's being assaulted with confusion and doubt. And so, um, you know, in the scriptures, and I'm going to play, um, as we exit, I will play that uh, Derek Prince uh, video that I did, a testimony of deliverance by Derek Prince um, in the spiritual house cleaning series, because it's, it's just really powerful, um, you know, how to war that specific, um, you know, access point of the enemy. So I think it'll help lots of people. So, all right, so we will pray for Della. Thank you for my sister. She loves you with all of her heart. Thank you for her sold outness to you, Jesus. We do bind up. Uh, spirits of confusion right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You're not wanted here any longer. She doesn't need you. She doesn't want you. She is putting on the mind of Christ. She is taking thoughts captive unto the obedience of Christ Jesus. The same goes with you, doubt. We do bind confusion and doubt right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no place. You have no place. We cut you down. You have no place of honor. Oh, how you are made low. We bind you and command you to go to the foot soul of Jesus Christ for judgment. And right now, we impart hope into Della's spirit. Thank you for peace and confidence. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As you build her armament, to be strong in you, Lord Jesus, to be sound and steadfast. There is no more tossing to and fro. 
Rabake, thank you, Lord Jesus. Mimme shoot the rabakaba. Bedella shall know that she knows that she knows. Rabake, and stand in your truth. Rabake, with no wavering. Brahma shita Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And anyone out there that also struggles with confusion and doubt, receive it for yourself. Receive it for yourself. Place that helmet of salvation upon yourself. And it is hope. That stuff to study in the Word. Study the scriptures on hope. That you may stand firm. Um, let's see. We had prayed for a Glenda Lomax uh, last week. Uh, we had another person notice um, uh, that she had uh, had a stroke or whatever, and, and I haven't heard any kind of update at all. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> But we'll pray for her again. Uh, and as, as I always say, anyone else that has, um, you know, suffered a stroke or, um, you know, if that runs in your family line, uh, take note of it. Um, Lord Jesus, I thank and praise you. And just ask, Lord God, for continued healing and restoration, that she may not be in any lack. We speak no loss of function to her body or to her mind in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak life into all of those uh, arteries and vessels. We speak uh, to that which is weak or collapsed to uh, have strength. Jesus, we just ask that you would go in there and perform your surgery and to make make them strong. Strong, Jesus. We also pray for her fiance uh, that uh, you would strengthen him and help him and all that he needs to do and and, uh, and also uh, supporting his wife in, in her ministry or his fiance in ministry. Sorry. Yeah, you know, when I was praying, I was seeing, um, like, some weak spots. And so, uh, if, if this bears on your heart to, to continue to pray, um, yeah, keep praying um, regarding that. It was like I, you know, it wasn't perfectly round. It was kind of slightly squished a little. And so, that's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's see here. That's okay. <laughs> You're here, Dylan. <laughs> okay. Um, Mr. True says a dear, he, he was asked, uh, you know, uh, would you pray? So. Um, a dear family friend right now is going through a very rough time. She is about 30, broke up with her boyfriend. She has anorexia, and she's addicted to alcohol. She's now suicidal. Um, so, yes. And I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, when somebody asks uh, a believer, would you pray? What an honor. So, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, we speak intervention into this girl's life. 
Your hand of intervention, Lord Jesus, that you would open up her eyes to want more. She knows there is more. Begin to show her, Lord Jesus, your deep love for her. He asked, Lord Jesus, that her eyes would be open to your love, especially in this season. I tell you guys, um, you know, it's like a season of joy. And, you know, of course, there's some people that are anti-Christmas and stuff. I'm not anti-Christmas. Um, you know, I've celebrated Hanukkah um, with the kids and Christmas, um, you know, for a few years. This year, we're just doing Christmas. Um, uh, and, it, and it's all great. You know, we, we have this freedom, as the word says, you know, you know, it's not about bondage to, you know, feast days and holidays and all this kind of stuff. He's looking in here and, um, you know, if, if these things help draw us to the Lord, um, you know, I don't care if it's, Christmas is the same as some pagan god and, you know, stuff's changed around or whatever because I have that freedom to worship Jesus every every time of the year. And so it's nice because this time of the year, people are softened to receive the gospel. People actually may never go to church all year long, but this time of year, they might, they might walk in because of... Uh, you know, some special church um, production or whatever, and we can't know what God's doing. At the same time, because I want to get to my point, there is a heaviness that comes too. Um, despair, um, depression. There are things that move in uh, to take people captive. And uh, it can be very hard for some people because, you know, like if you if you burn a lot of bridges and um, then the accuser comes in this time of year and will say, oh, look, look at this family and how their kids love them. And, you know, they're doing all this stuff and you've got nothing and no one loves you and you know what i'm saying it hammers 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 and that's why we have so many you know when we have the tragedies they they come and you know i i was going to bring up that shooting thing later but you know stuff like that it's like all this stuff happens it's just horrible but that's what the enemy does. He banks on it. It's like, it, this is like major warfare season because so many people are open to the gospel because of, of the joy in the air and, you know, the lightness, that darkness comes in like a storm. So, um... We just lift up this girl. Um, the anorexia, what I've, it's actually in the word, and I, you know, it talks about wasting away. And I can't remember what the scripture is, but I've looked it up and read it and stuff before. But basically, it's a curse for disobedience, um, I believe, to parents. Um, you know, and it's right there in the word. And it's hard because, you know, family members and stuff may not understand that um, all these things that they're going through, you know, it's all right there in the word. And it's like, um, you know, and it might not have been her doing the disobedience. It could have been in her family line. But 
we just can't stand on the on the street corners and yell, you need deliverance and you need this and you know, but we can love them. So um, I just pray, Mr. Truth, if he has opportunity to actually engage in some way that he can show that love to her. Um, Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you would bring your labors into the harvest regarding this one. That she can be sheltered in your love, Lord Jesus, in your truth. Bind up disgrace from her. Because that's what I heard. Bind that up. I make known that to be the foot of Lord Jesus. Just speak honor to her and blessing and your love, Lord Jesus. She may uh, receive your joy in this season. And not focus on those ills. All, all the things that seem to crash down around her. And we bind up that uh, spirit that induces alcoholism. We bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we lose life into her. In your gospel. We ask Lord Jesus that you would flood her with your gospel. That despair had no place. We bind despair from her. In the mighty name of Jesus. All right. Um, okay, and Mr. Truth is digging into deliverance himself, uh, as just here lately. <laughs> He's digging into the whole deliverance thing. And um, so he is just asking for, uh, you know, that the Holy Spirit will reveal all those things. And really, the Holy Spirit totally is, uh, totally is. Um, he knows uh, his enemies, um, and he's <laughs> I, the revelation of it at first. You get kind of upset. You're like, oh, you know, when you first realize uh, how much they've been attacking you, and sometimes that's what it takes. We just have to be tired, tired of battling this thing, and the revelation of we don't have to battle it. We don't. We just have to be, you know, okay, I'm going to turn this over to Jesus and let him have it. So, we especially speak, again, um, one of the things that's been attacking him is, he is heaviness. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that nothing is so great that you cannot handle it. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that Mr. Truth is beneath the shadow of your wing. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that he is yielded to you. I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would impart him with your joy. That you would flood him with your joy and your peace. I thank you, Lord Jesus. He is a vessel of your peace. And wherever he walks, may he, the peace from you, Lord Jesus, radiate, radiate from him. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you give him authority in the atmosphere to call on your peace. And that your peace manifest and come because he speaks it. Rebecca, as he walks in, he says, I bless this place with peace, and the peace of Jesus Christ come. Anxiety, fear, manipulation, control, intimidation has no place where he walks. But everything, everything he recognizes and catches, that you speak that out and bind it in the mighty name of Jesus and command it to the footstool for judgment. 
And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that everything that he releases that's good of your truth manifest in the natural, in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Woo! Awesome. Okay. All right, let me check my mail real quick. Bye. Okay, prayer requests. Okay, I have a few things. Um, okay, possible for my, is it possible for, for prayer for my spiritual eyes and ears to be open and for a pure heart? Um, yeah, we'll pray that, but I also want to ask you, um, have you received the baptism in the Holy Spirit? Um, if you have not, I will refer you to videos and, and whatever. Um, I think you have. Okay, cool. Okay, well, we will, we will pray for that. Um, and also, you're asking for a pure heart. And that's kind of like with, um, with Eric last week. He was asking... You know, hey, please agree with me that I'd be obedient. And so, yeah, we want to agree that um, we get a, you know, for a pure heart. We all want that, so we can all receive that as well. So I'll just start there. I haven't read everything, but we'll start there. We speak to our spirit man right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank and praise you, Holy Spirit, that you are here. And we do beseech you, Lord Jesus, for all that you have. Do open up our spiritual eyes. And our ears to hear your voice. Remember, we plead for all that you have, Lord Jesus, that your Holy Spirit, we give you permission, Holy Spirit, to wake us up so that we may hear you and see you. We give you permission to alert us, even if it's subtle ways that you would sharpen us, sharpen our senses to hear you, and to see you, Lord Jesus. Speak impartation of dreams and visions upon all those who desire it in the mighty name of Jesus. You said in your last days, those things will grow. So we receive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We receive an impartation for dreams and for visions, for for your depth of communion with us grows. And with this, yes, I'm felt led, you know, that is right in with for a pure heart. For that obedience, we give you permission, Lord Jesus, by your Holy Spirit, to correct us so that we will not fall off that path. Correct us, great Lord, that we will follow you, that we will seek you only. Purify our hearts, Lord Jesus. Those things that offend you. We ask, Lord Jesus, that they would become as a bitter taste in our mouth and that we would reject them. Draw us into your heart, Lord Jesus, into the purity of all you are. We submit ourselves to you entirely, Jesus. Entirely, Lord Jesus. We want to be used of you, holy vessels, 
Help us to make ready our wedding garments spotless. Stir up your most holy spirit within us. We receive that in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. I think I could go lay on a couch right now. <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, you have a rash on your arm that won't go away. Doctor's prescription has not worked. Yes. Lord Jesus, we ask that you would expose this. We command this to be exposed. We impart life into the skin in the mighty name of Jesus. Life, your resurrection life, Lord Jesus. Your life, Lord Jesus. Skin, we command you in the mighty name of Jesus to be healed, to be completely restored. We bind you from operation in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. We cut forth your authority. We submit it to Jesus. We command you bow to the name of Jesus. We speak to that sensation. We command you to quit in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak hydration and uh, normal cell growth. Hydration into that skin. Devil, you have no authority. The Jesus stands against you. Every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord, and every knee must bow. Bow to the name of Jesus. We speak that life. We speak that life. So yes, we do agree that whatever this is, is destroyed. That is destroyed in the name of Jesus. And we declare healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Speak the name of Jesus. Release the name of Jesus into the skin now. Baba shikina pakara pakoro pakara pasire. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the healer, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that you healed them all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, well, might keep praying about that. Um, I'm not feeling a big gush. I'm feeling a little resistance yet. Um, 
but um, it, you know, if you're not getting healing, you know, right away or whatever, just lay your hand on that and and impart Jesus, <laughs> declare Jesus into it, and we'll just keep praying, okay? <clears throat> okay, um, another prayer request. Well, because, you know, I'm praying and, um, you know, if I'm not feeling a big gush, um, I'm just, you know, if you, if you let me know, did, were you feeling anything? Kind of. All right. Well, maybe the Lord will, will push it through. You know, it, I mean, it could be happening right now. I don't know. I'm just letting you know I wasn't feeling like a big, huge gush. That doesn't mean that it didn't happen. Um, I'm, I'm new at this stuff, too. <laughs> So that's why I always want to ask people, what, what are you feeling on your end? Because, you know, everybody has different giftings and stuff. And so, you know, somebody else out there might see something in the spirit, um, you know, or whatever. When we all start to piece things together, um, revelation comes and, you know, okay, you said you felt it last time when I prayed for you and your calling. So, yeah, um, we'll, you know, we'll just agree that if there is some access point or some something that is allowing this thing to uh, hang on in any way, we will just wrap up a shukide bakarabaka. We will just command in the mighty name of Jesus that it be exposed. We command exposure in the name of Jesus. Um, you know, other things you can think about is when did it start? Have you always had it? Um, when did it get worse? You know, and you don't have to share it right now, but, you know, it's just things, you know, because you can look, some things, you know, like, or traumatic events can cause triggers, you know, like, um, and, and that's maybe where something might start or whatever. Um you know, people that suffer from fibromyalgia and stuff, um, you know, a lot of times there's like a trigger point or something. So, you know, um, okay. <laughs> um, okay, Dylan, you said you think you got a word a few days ago. Uh, yeah, if you want to share it, you can either email it or put it in the text box, uh, depending upon how long it is, but yeah, share. Um, and anytime anybody gets anything you want to share on the, uh, forum, uh, it's okay to, yeah, you can email it. If it's too long, maybe we'll share it next week or whatever, but, um, the forum, anyhow, I have places on there, you know, if you get little things, um, you know, you can share little things. It's hearinggod.proboards.com. That is the forum. So, um, yeah, you know, like if you get something big that, you know, you really know that you know it's for like the body of Christ, you can share that. And then, you know, other people can share, you know. God doesn't just give one person something and, you know, it's some big secret. You know, if it's that, you know, you're you're in a cult, okay? <laughs> in a cult. Um, he shares a little bit with everybody, and that's why, you know, it's where two or three or more, you know, confirm things. Because he kind of shares everything in seasons and stuff so that we all know we're flowing through him and on the same page or whatever. So there's that, um, you know, places you can share. I got the cute little place called the daily brew where you can just share little things um that he shares with you that might also exhort and encourage other people so um you know good thing to bring all your stuff in um all right um okay i gotta get back here to 
um, this one that came in. But I'd like it at the bottom. Okay, Robbie is praying that he can pass all the classes uh, and come back to the Lord. Well, we can't snap our fingers and make grades happen uh, magically, but we will indeed agree uh, for a sound mind uh, so that the focus can be on the studies. And yes, come back to the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you would send Robbie a healthy fellowship and others that do desire and seek after you, Lord Jesus. Whether it be internet fellowship or friends or whatever it is, Lord Jesus, that you would provide that. Because we ask. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that those that ask receive. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, that he does ask to come back to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And it's it's that, yes, like last time, a bunch of people that have been backslidden, all praying. It's because the Holy Spirit is calling the droves back. It's the days of John the Baptist. Repent, repent, and the people are coming. Thank you, Jesus. So we also pray, uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for Robbie to uh, have your mind, Lord Jesus, the mind of Christ, that when those distractions, temptations to do other things come, that he would indeed call them down in the mighty name of Jesus and declare, I have a future and a hope, and I am here uh, to learn and to go onward and upward. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blessings. And his desire to do well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you would uh, sharpen Robbie so that he could focus. We bind up any distraction from him in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that uh, you would, your Holy Spirit would reveal uh, those things that would try to draw him away from his studies. Thank you, Lord Jesus ask that you would just impart your spirit of obedience over him and this also goes forth in his coming back to you Lord Jesus that those things that uh, distract and draw him away would just fall to the wayside in the mighty name of Jesus Lord Jesus. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, well, geez, I already have another prayer for the same exact thing. <laughs> if I was thinking, um, Paul is also struggling in school. Um, his issues uh distraction, uh, confusion, and doubt. So, we're going to deal with those things specifically. We bind distraction, confusion, and doubt up in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no place here. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that he is the mind of Christ. We command those spirits to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. You have no place here. We proclaim the authority of Jesus Christ trumps all. That every knee must bow to the name of Jesus. We speak that life over to him, over his mind. He wants to do well in school. He has places to go and things to be for your kingdom, Lord Jesus. And so we declare freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare clarity 
in his thought life, that he sees the goal and shoots for the mark of the, the prize in getting everything done that is required, that there be no doubt, no confusion, but a, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and go for it with gusto. <laughs> we declare he is proficient, efficient, and that all he does is sufficient. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you would bless him and all he sets his hand to. That there be no lost work, lost papers, none of that. Enemy, we bind you from attacking Paul in the mighty name of Jesus. We disfellowship your touch from him. He belongs to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Um, let me check out the email that Dylan sent. Oh, that's not so long. Here I thought it was going to be so long I'd have to read it next week. It's kind of uh, artistic. In it, he writes, God is like a painting. If you look at it like everyone else, you won't understand what it means. You have to look at it from an angle to see what it really means. And that's, yeah, you've heard that from him. Uh, I mean, it fits so much in line with the many names of God. Um, have you ever seen one of those, um, you know, El Shaddai and uh, uh, Jehovah Jireh and just all the different names of God? It, it is true. Um, he is there at every facet to meet our need. And uh, sometimes our need is we need a Jehovah Jireh or sometimes we need uh, Almighty God. Um, so he is there in all things to meet our every need. Um, okay, let me um, pray for Mr. Gene, okay? Bless my brother James, Lord Jesus. We continue to bind up this organic brain dysfunction. We call its power void in the mighty name of Jesus. We command it bend the knee to the name of Jesus. I was at the post office this week, and the post office lady, this one box, had so much mail in it that it took her minutes, not minutes, minutes, to pull it all out because it was so stuffed full. And so I want to see you, Jim, like that post office box. Your entire, every part of you like that. And we are stuffing in the name of Jesus in every compartment so full. That no place is left untouched by his power, by his name. We speak his light and his life into your spirit. We break any dark powers that claim hold to you 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak restoration and life. Along with Jesus, we impart life into every spot. We bind up death. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have no place. The power is broken by the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are every facet imparted into James's life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that anything that rises against your perfection, Lord Jesus, must fall and bow to a knee. Thank you for all that you are doing in James's life and the refining that you are doing within him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just ask that you would just flood him with your peace and your joy and your most holy presence. Amen. Mm. We are gonna persevere, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, if anyone else has any prayer requests, you can text them in or info at hearinggod.tv. Um, Douglas wrote me, said he, uh, well, he just wrote this, but um, basically he pointed out all the top stories uh, that was on Friday, um, you know, checking the email or whatever. And in the sidebar where all the news stuff is, it's like all the top stories or whatever. And it's pretty amazing um, what hour we're in. But I'll just read them. Man bites flesh off of neighbor's face. Yeah. Baby has feather grow out of their neck. Gunman opens fire at an elementary school. You know that one. 5.6 earthquake of, off of California coast. Four people set a fire at an apartment complex. Man carves pentagram into his son's back. And a grand meteor shower. Yeah. We know all the signs of the times. Uh, isn't that <laughs> pretty wild? Um, with that in mind, um, you know, I had another person write me this week. Um, you know, their spiritual eyes were opened not too long ago, and they're just hungering and seeking after the Lord, but... You know, when that happens, it's like you realize, oh my gosh, my family have done this institutional thing all these years and they don't even know God. They just, because I know I was there. I did it too. I did the, the once a week thing where you sit there and you're not, you go home and you can't even remember what the scriptures were that were read. Um, so we just want to pray for all those families. We are going to pray for our families to come to Jesus and for deeper relationships because there are some out there 
that really have received Jesus as Lord, but they've never sought out deeper things of God and chased after him and really hungered after him. And There's so much more. So we just indeed do pray. We pray, Lord Jesus, with all that we are for those that are lost, that we know in our family, Lord Jesus, that you are working all things. You are drawing them. You are drawing them home, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that the prayers of your righteous avail much. And so we do plead, Lord Jesus, that you would send forth your laborers into the harvest, that you would give them angelic uh, interaction, Lord Jesus, that would get them to think and to be hungry for you, Lord Jesus. For you even send, if there is not even a person there that is willing to go, you send forth your angels to go. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that our words have power and we speak life into our family. We speak Jesus over them, Lord Jesus. We speak salvation over our families. We declare healing. Salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, and um, I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, for my brother Douglas. And I just ask that you would bless him and his wife. You would bless all that they set their hands to. You would bless their coming and their going. You would give them direction and guidance. And your provision, Lord Jesus, that you would provide. I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just bless their giftings and their talents. Through the roof, Lord Jesus. Mighty things. Mighty things in store. For those that follow and seek after you, your, your chasers, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord God, for uh, wonderful ideas, for wonderful music, and lyrics, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that they bring the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. I declare your victory over this family, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right. Um, hopefully I got everything. I'm really thinking, whew, it's getting warm. Wow. Oh, yeah, funny. Yeah, December 21st, this next Friday, does this mean no broadcast on Saturday? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yes, um, along with, you know, let's just pray for all the that terrible massacre, okay? Lord Jesus, we know these things are said to happen these awful things that happen. Rebecca, we also know that your righteous ones, when they stand and they take your authority, that those things cannot happen. So we just ask, Lord Jesus, that you would rise up your mighty warriors in these last days. That when they command the spirits, that they will stop and obey at the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would spread forth your healing balm over that community, over each family, over each person. And we declare that what the enemy wants to do for evil will turn around and go for the glory of your kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. And uh, this week, just begin to pray. Pray down fear, anxiety, all the things, all the spiritual things that this uh, Mayan stuff may cause um, because the enemy feeds off of that, okay? Um, that's just kind of homework. <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now because I got to go. But um, 
yeah, we'll do this on a united front. Um, we'll declare uh, the enemy shall not go forth. Okay, so thanks for joining me this week.